Welcome back to another video. I'm back from my YouTube hiatus. Uh, been pretty busy getting stuff done, but I thought I'd come back, make a video, and give you an update of what is to come this year, and hopefully what you'll see more of on this channel. I'm going to be trying to post a lot more regularly. I'm going to give you insights into my training, uh, my races, and a bit more about the technical side of bikepacking as well. So let's get to it. So before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to say a quick thank you to Sturka. Um, Sturka are going to be working with me on my Ultra Journey. Um, got some cool discounts for you guys as well. If you click the link down below in the description, um, you'll find uh, a link to their website where if you use code BRINDAVIS, it, all caps, um, you can grab yourself 25% off your first order. So make the most of that and get clicking. So then, that's out of the way. Let's get into the ride. I'm going to talk to you what I'm doing this year, the races I'm doing, uh, and just just more random stuff. So stay tuned. Uh, let's get into the rain outside. It's a lovely day here in South Wales, as it always is. I'll talk to you guys when I'm on the bike. So then, all kitted up. Three hours on the cards. It's pretty late in the afternoon. I've been sleepy. So about to go out on the beast little sneak preview of the Dale's Divide machine. There will be a video coming, so stay tuned. I'm gonna put out a video of my full setup for Dale's Divide, but yeah, currently getting ready for that. That's in a few weeks. I'll talk to you more about that in a second. But yeah, stay tuned for that bike video. It's a pretty sweet setup, I think. Another little sneak preak. Ooh, ooh, TT bars on a mountain bike. Yeah, boy, TT bars on a mountain bike. As you can tell by the already bit of mud on my face, the ride is underway. So then, what does this year have in store for me? Lots of new things. Um, no road racing at all. Uh, I don't even own a road bike anymore. So no road racing. Lots of ultras. Lots of gravel. Bit of mountain biking. And a lot of fun. Uh, and exploring. Lots of exploring. So, my season kicked off last weekend. Battle on the beach. Stood. Wasn't a huge focus, obviously. Predominantly focusing this year on Ultras Highland Trail. But hey, I'm jumping ahead. So, as I was saying, Battle on the Beach, start of the year, uh, last weekend. Um, not been focusing on short races. To be honest, I went in for a bit of fun. Uh, I struggled to motivate myself a little bit just because. I think when you're focusing all your time on rides that are going to take like upwards of 40 hours, it's quite hard to get excited for an hour and a half race, but hey, it was, it was, it was good fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, ripping along the beach, um, getting argy bargy with 900 riders on the off-road single track was pretty, pretty fun. So that was the start. I think I rolled in somewhere around 60th, so hey, nothing to write home about, but good bit of fun. So next up, following Battle on the Beach, uh, is the first Ultra of the year, Dale's Divide. Um, that's next week, Good Friday, 8am uh, on the pier. Uh, somewhere called Ar Arnside, something like that. Goes from there to Scarborough and back again. So coast to coast to coast. 600 Ks, uh, record is 35 hours or something. So yeah, first Ultra of the year. A little bit nervous, <laughs> never know how the leg's gonna go, but been putting a fair bit of work into it, so that's the first real test of the year, the one, yeah, the first big one of the year, I suppose. Uh, heading up on Thursday, um, so I'm excited for that. Uh, don't know how I'll do, to be honest, but I'm in pretty good shape, so I'd like to think okay. <laughs> to Dales, it's the Tracker in Spain. Uh, it starts in Girona, Sort of a big loop of, of somewhere around Girona. Uh, 360 Ks, some big names there. I think last year was won by Matteo De Marchi, uh, with Lachlan in second. So, big competition, but really looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to just testing the legs with the big names, getting stuck in. And hopefully something over that distance is gonna suit me, you know? Gonna be spending a week in Girona then, get a bit of training in either side of it. Never been there, so really looking forward to it. Um, need to get a gravel bike first because, yeah, at the moment this gravel rider has no gravel bike, so riddle me that one. Oh, 
I absolutely love this bike path. Old railway line from a place called Ponta Dowie to God knows where. But it's quick. It's off the road and it's next to the river. How's your day going? Because I just ran into the side of a bridge and destroyed my shoulder. But well, we carry on. Um, so yeah, where were we? After the tracker, I'm heading to Scotland, end of May, for probably the biggest one of the year in terms of the amount of effort it's going to require is Highland Trail 550, 550 miles, 880k, uh, around Scottish Highlands. Crazy tough race. I've been told, you know, it's one of the hardest out there in, in the ultra scene. Uh, pretty much all off-road, mountain biking again, but just savage, savage terrain, super tough. Uh, minimal refill points, so you really got to be on it with planning, prep. So, again, I'd love to do well there. Uh, some big names this year. Um, I'm going to do my absolute best. So, who knows, but super excited for that one. Again, super nervous though. It's a, it's a tough cookie to crack. But if I can, then, hey, that'll be a great result. Just slipping and sliding over some mud here. Cool. So then what comes next after Highland Trail? Um, a lot of fatigue, probably. But uh, a few weeks, three weeks after that, I think, I'm heading to Kenya to race Migration Gravel Race, which I'm absolutely buzzing for. Super, super excited. Um, kind of a funny story how I ended up entering. Uh, one of my friends, Finley, uh, told me to come, like, come down to the Ruler Show or whatever in London. Uh, and also watch this screening of the Migration Gravel Race film that they'd made, but for for last year's edition. So there I was, you know, enjoying the film, thinking this would be fun. You know, Finley said, you should do this. I was like, yeah, I want to do it. Anyway, turn around, Lachlan Morton was there. I was like, damn boy. I had a little chat and he was like, yeah, you should do it. So I was like, you know what? Can't really, can't really contest that, can I? So I entered, and lo and behold, I got in. So I'm really, really excited for that. It's a four-stage gravel race through the Masai Mara. What? <laughs> you know, I was in freaking Pembrays last year, local crit, and then this year I'm going to Kenya. But hey, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Following that, part of the same sort of. Uh, same organizers, same sort of, I guess, group of races. Hopping on the bus to Tanzania for Evolution Gravel Race. Now, this I'm also super excited for, but I think this will suit me even better. It's a two-stage ultra race, um, two 420 kilometer stages, so 840 in total, with a 12-hour mandatory rest in between the two stages so the organizer sort of did it i think to force exciting racing both days because if you get to the checkpoint first your 12 hours finishes first as well so you can get back out on the bike so it sort of forces the racing to really race from the start to the finish and then that second stage is almost a chase um so yeah you've got to get there first get your 12 hours done and then crack on but it's sort of a race to the coast to the coast of Tanzania. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> the two African races in Highland Trail are the main sort of, the big ones of the year. And then I got a couple after to, to pad it out a bit, but so that's the bulk of my racing sort of done by the start of July. Um, July onwards then, well, we'll talk about it in a second. Going up. So 
after evolution and migration, I'm not 100% sure what we'll be doing. I think I've got a pretty quiet few months. Uh, definitely going to do National Gravel Champs, uh, King's Cup I think it's called. Going to be doing that again, that was good fun. Maybe do, well definitely do, a lot of bikepacking, um, bit of, sort of touring, chill bikepacking. Definitely going to have a crack at some fastest known times. Not sure which yet, but I've got a couple on the radar. And other than that, I think that's probably it. That's probably, oh god. That's probably uh, a bit of a wrap on it, I would say. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'll be coming up with more regular content. And, you know, I'm going to try and keep it regular. Um, plenty of bike packing, plenty of bike setup videos. Going to try and get some videos in Dale's Divide. Depends on Ty now. But, yeah, stay tuned. I hope this video was remotely interesting and yeah if you want to if you want to follow the journey drop a drop a little subscribe down, down downstairs or uh, down in the comment note down below drop a like if you liked it more than welcome to drop a dislike if you didn't because probably wouldn't blame you but yeah it's an exciting year i'm really looking forward to racing in this sort of whole new sort of realm of cycling uh meeting some new people and really getting stuck in in stuck in in jesus getting stuck in so yeah i would like to say thanks to tailfin and stoker and her bike for supporting me this year and uh yeah check them out i'll leave some links below and yeah thanks for watching i will see you in the dales divide bike setup check Ciao.